I welcome all of you on Europedia and uh, my this particular video is related to the admissions in research program that is a PhD program which is also called fellowship program in very prestigious I am Ahmedabad. Now as you know uh, winter admission has started I cannot call it a winter admission for IIMs because in IIMs it keeps on going till March of every year. So it has just started I am Ahmedabad has come out with its form for PhD and the eligibility is you know masters program plus some competitive exams you must have cleared like CAT, GMAT or uh, you know GATE kind of exams I will discuss with you or uh, if you are BTEC then also you can apply for this. So four years BTEC program if you have uh, then directly you can go for PhD obviously after MTech you can go for it after MSc, BSc I think three years program is not you, you are not eligible but four years program any graduation program of four years you are eligible to go for PhD in IIM Ahmedabad. Now other than uh, first grade I think 60% marks is required uh, for general category students in graduation or post graduation and then you should have some uh, competitive exam uh, with you score for that. So that I will discuss with you. Uh, scholarship in uh, first year I think is 42,000 after that 45,000. So after I think PH, uh, graduation it takes uh, five years for you to do PhD. But after masters it takes three to four years but you assume it is four years four and four and half years after masters. Now why a PhD should be done from prestigious institute like IIMS uh, the reason for that is like if you are looking for pursuing your research career or career in academics you want to become teacher somewhere in some another B school or IITs uh, then after I am Ahmedabad you can join there as a teacher in uh, management department or if you want to go in industries for R&D activity that can also be done. Unlike other institutes the PhD program in IIMS uh, provides you opportunity uh, equal opportunity for being in academics research as well as industries. So if you uh, you know if you are interested to go for super specialized course in particular areas which I will discuss with you this can be a good course. Let me discuss it with you now. Uh, but yes before you fill the form and everything you need to do lot of analysis of the area in which you want to apply the research of the professors you need to see you need to make a very good research proposal and if in that particular situation if you need the help of uh, mentors of your PDA, they will guide you how you can go forward in that. Okay now uh, PhD program of I am Ahmedabad uh, they have given this like strong academic background is required you should be motivated and intellectual curiosity to do the real research. In fact not only I am Ahmedabad this is the requirement for doing PhD in any institute. You should have motivation because it is a long course and you know uh, it is quite arduous also it is uh, you need to put a lot of hard work in PhD program. So if you are academically oriented you can go for such courses. Important dates I, I will tell you like uh, 27th September dates these have opened and uh, till 17th of January you can fill it up and interviews tentative are in March April as I told you March April is the month when interviews go on so you can apply you have time till 17th of January you can apply in this and if you want further details you can contact them. Now uh, let me tell you uh, the courses which are there and the exam which is required I told you if you are graduate if you are post graduate you can apply for this you can go on their site also. So GRE, GMAT, GATE, JRF these are the exams which are required for these courses like if you want to go for human resource management even uh, with GATE you can go for it human resource management uh, many people like civil engineers and all they have done this human resource information system many technocrats would like to go for that electronics and communication students computer science background students they would like to go for that and it is my advice that if you are with gate then you avoid economics and finance and accounting gate is not even eligible but economics and all you can avoid if you are with going with gate because uh, students with cat and all and background from economics normally are preferred. So you should have some background of these uh, domains then only in the interview they are going to take you and you have to write a very good research proposal also. Now uh, innovation and management in education that is something which is a very upcoming domain or if you do PhD karte hai, toh, there are so many institutes where this is coming as a department and you can get a very good job uh, in the form of teaching there. 
yes operation and decision science and operation management is nothing but this is a data science so if you are with gate and if you want to get into data science phd in data science i am ahmedabad this can be a very good domain for you organizational behavior also civil engineers can go for that this is a decision science that means data science and uh, you know these are some other like uh, uh, public systems public systems uh, you can go for public systems also agriculture background people can go in this so these are the areas you need to identify as a mechanical engineer where i can go sir operations may you can go data science may you can go electronics engineer where i can go information system may you can go engineering background students can go in organizational behavior uh, typically like you know uh, civil engineers you can go to public systems you can go to operation and decision science this is normally for technical background students only like uh, you know if you are from uh, engineering background you should go for operation and decision science decision science is nothing but data science so you should typically go for this and it's a good domain for you to work in so i am ahmedabad itself is a very very reputed institute and uh, you know uh, you can always think of going there now what is the validity of the scores sir i have written gate score 3 years back so yes gate score up to 3 years it is valid so even if you have gate score of 3 years back it is valid similarly gre 5 years gmat 5 years cat 5 years grf srf is also valid so validity is also given for various exams how to apply so uh, they have told you that you have you have to go to you know website application fees is 500 rupees and you can apply till 17th of january the moment you start applying and this is only one of the aims there are so many other aims which will come forward for admission in winter so this 17th january is the last date but the interviews will be in march april you have to make proper analysis of this you have to make a very good research proposal interview call normally will come and if you prove that you have a, got a very good opportunity in your hand so those of you who want to be part of very prestigious i am ahmedabad and in the organization you know in the research areas like decision science and you want to pursue a good career in that you can fill this particular form the details also you can get and all these informations are also available on the website of europedia what are the forms have come two more aims have come so i'll make a video for those aims you can watch our regular videos on that all the very best thank you